Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review the Racer Cube All-in-One Flight Controller. Gearbest kindly sent to me for a review, so thank you very much, Gearbest. Let's open the box and see everything we're getting inside. It came in three separate bags. Let's start from the bottom. First of all, we have this little B, 20 ampere all-in-one ESC. So this is gonna be in the bottom of the Racer Cube. On the middle, we have the flight controller. You probably asked yourself why there are two USB ports. So one USB port is for the flight controller and the second one is to configure the OSD. And you can see you have here these pads. So the top part, which is an FR Sky compatible receiver, it will just sit directly on top of it. It will form the Racer Cube. The top part, as you can see, it comes with uh, one gigabyte of SD card for the black box and also it has a built-in buzzer. Inside the accessory bags we're getting an XT60 male connector, we're getting all the spacers, wires and we're getting also this IPX antenna so you just connect it here on the top of the receiver. Connecting the two top parts is done by just snapping it like that and it saves you all the trouble of soldering it together and that's a pretty nice feature to have and of course I'm gonna put also spacers in between. Uh, the boot pads are inconveniently uh, located here on the bottom which means after you're gonna connect it to the ESC it will, it's going to be very hard for you to reach them to flash new versions. They should have put a, a button and in order to do it, so it means after you connect to your quadcopter, you will probably have to disassemble it to flash a new version. Uh, this is pretty much of a downside. On the bright side, this is a very compact all-in-one solution. All you have to do in order to fly a quadcopter, you will have, of course, to add motors, and you will need to add also an FPV camera and a video transmitter. The total weight of the old equip, all the accessories with uh, the X60 connector and also some of the spacers, and also included one bag. As you can see is 34.75 grams. Gearbest also kindly sent me these motors, Emax motors, the new RS2205 2600 kV motors. I'm going to use it on my next build where I will also be using this uh, flight controller. The top pins here allow you to switch between the built-in transmitter or one of those. As you can see here this is the DSM2 or the SMX, you have here the UR3 and you have here the UR2. The default is the built-in transmitter and SBUS and you can see it can also switch to PPM output. Don't be confused, the black ones actually represent the white pin so this can be a little bit confusing. So you can switch between the onboard receiver with SBUS or PPM or you can just disable the onboard receiver and just use an external one. As you can see, the right USB port is the MWOSD configure port. The left one is for the F3 configure port. On the front, we have FPV camera connector. It, all, it comes, of course, with this connector. The bottom wires connect directly to the ESC for the motors. You can see here the layout. The left side is the plus and the right side is the minus. On the bottom we have the connector for the video transmitter. Just pay attention, it, the output is 5 volt. The ESC supports up to 6 cells power input. I will put a link to this user manual. It will be, I think, very useful for you if you have one of those. Enjoy it. See you soon on my next build video where I'm going to use all these parts. Goodbye.